everybody, and welcome to The Perfect Pair. I am Tangerine. I'm Marty. And today we are ready to have... You said, who looks so dark? Have I got do some we look dark? dark? Have I you do some... look like you've been tan, because you went out of town. You went to the beach. I saw the pictures. You up there laying in the sun. Oh. Looking like just a kiss of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's happening here? So welcome, welcome, welcome to The Perfect Pair. Were we here last week? It was Easter. We were not It here. was Easter because I'm like, something is missing. Something same so like happy this. Easter, everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all trip, y'all um, vacation. I did. Some um, time with y'all family. Yes. Guess what I'm doing, y'all? I am putting on my nails because these were too long to put on before. Um, I'm in the shirt. Sheesh. Um, okay, then we didn't drop another nail. Yeah. They know I'm in the show. Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. Please, y'all. And these are my nails today. Oh, so I really can't touch nothing. Um, and I'm over here struggling. Okay, so. But welcome. I you with the, the tabs. You were. We have an excellent show today. We have a special guest on. And we will be talking about if men are intimidated by strong women. I don't think that's the question. That was my question. I what thought it was, are, are strong women intimidating men? Are we intimidating men or are men intimidated by us? Uh, interesting. Um doing shop. Hold on, let me just tell. I don't I don't know. Well, either way. But we about to find out if we intimidated them or if they just are intimidated. So before we get started, we have, you know what time it is. We got to get us started. And let me put our Beyonce fan on because it is a little hot and this computer is blocking us. It's, it's a little, it's, it's a little hot. And I just um, put on the air condition. We, they, they we are experiencing two warm days in Detroit. <laughs> two, just two. We gonna go back down. So seeing how I can't maneuver anything with these nails. What on, do you gotta do? I was trying to. Back. <laughs> what do you need to do? Because I've never done this before, people. So what? What do you do here? I'm trying to do this part, but these nails is not allowing me to be. Here it is, shaking and joy. Boom. Just wanted your logo up. That's it. Okay, okay. Boom, there it is. So, so this is our Shake and Enjoy segment. This is the Shake and Enjoy segment. And generally, you know, I give you all the um, the cocktail prior to the show coming on. But, you know, charge it to my heart, y'all. Work with me, people. Work with me. So what we're having is a classic. This was actually the very first drink I made when I started the home happy hour during quarantine. Really? This one is called the GG Elder. And the reason that I, this was the first drink was because all I had on my bar at the time was gin, bourbon, and vodka. So I wanted to try some with the gin. So we're going to have, and you know, on this show, I like to, I like to have the need to make a double batch of everything so we now why do you need to do that because we want to get into the conversation and you know then we start mixing again once we start drinking and y'all know it gets better when when the drinks kick in, in. so <laughs> we're going to have this recipe calls for two ounces of gin okay two ounces of gin but we, because we're having they used to say gin make you sin but remember you said that a couple episodes ago that gin was a good happy hour drink um day day, day drink yeah yes because they say that gin like amps you up you know instead of bringing you down and it's like one of the best drinks for daytime drinking so we tend to do that on this show a daytime lot. drinking and um the people have have gotten so used to my co-host being off of work that um they are continuing to message and um subscribe to her text messages right now. <laughs> like, like we are on live. Hey Sean. Hey. Hey Rashonda. Hey y'all. Rashonda. I like to say people's name right. So then you're gonna have two ounces of gin, one ounce of elderflower. Mm, I like elderflower. That tastes good in um mimosas too. You know what? I keep meaning to try that. You told me about that. A little bit of um, chef, put your champagne in it. Just put a hint of elderflower to make it sweet and like a little a bit hint, of juice. A hint. Like that mm -hmm. lady that did, oh, uh, when she made that recipe on that show, it was like two shots of vodka. And it's like, <laughs> what show was that? It's simply homemade. And I only know that because my mom used to watch that show. I've never seen it. Never even yeah. heard of it. Yeah. I'll show you the clip. 
And then you're gonna have one ounce of grapefruit juice. Mm. And because <laughs> Just pour it all in. I ain't about to play. Well, wait a minute. If we use all the grapefruit juice, what are we going to no, do? We'll use orange juice next, people. Look, don't judge us. Okay? We running a whole operation here. So then, we're going to... Ooh. Oh, I'm excited. Can we do it? And I'm going to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. This is how we were shaking it at the little concert. Shake the make the booty pop. This uh -huh. one went to Luke. <laughs> Sir. Still like dancing my butt off. And my knees did not hurt. Was, so that was always you a know what? what? We want to send a shout out to Peloton. Woo woo! That her knees did not hurt because she has been actively on her Peloton. I have y'all. I'm back. Strong. Four days a week. I'm doing the strength training and riding a bike because your girl is about to be ready for the summer if y'all need a peloton let me know i'll give you my code for free it takes off a hundred dollars off your accessory package we don't which have to is tell peloton about the so commercial you anymore. too can be on your peloton and we can ride together oh this week i do have um i've been riding with somebody we ride at 5 a.m every morning um we do our little check-in we wake each other up and then we check out after we do our ride so shout out to jonita she peloton fan too if y'all want to ride with us, just let me know. Okay, so I got to show y'all this. I ain't going to tell y'all what I thought this was. When, when she I walked pulled in here up with like, this, she was like, what is it? Like, friend, what is going on? <laughs> just strong. Oh, Mama, did you say it's the do it, blue it? What you know about that? That's why you got that gin. That's that why she collar. got y'all. Oh, my mama keep the gin. <laughs> right, are you ready? You fancy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Let's see. Oh. This tastes like sin. <laughs> it tastes like trouble is down the road. It tastes it like, like yeah. Down the road. <laughs> this tastes like. Oh boy. <laughs> Where y'all at? We outside. We outside. <laughs> okay. We are outside. And y'all mm -hmm. see, in honor of these warmer days, we dress, you know, in summer's finest color. Why? Why? <laughs> Okay. And I'm gonna probably have to put this hair up because it is going to swell out. It's not lasting. This is the bad thing about natural hair. It is not lasting. But it's so pretty. Thank you. I got it done. It's so last pretty. week. I um, need you to do one more. Just put this on this one so I can put the pinky on. Because okay. I'm gonna see if I can maneuver and if I can, I'm going out with these nails on. So y'all know I've been protective styling my hair um for the past couple for the past couple months. And um got a tip the other day told What's me that I had to let my hair take a breather. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready for that. I'm gonna be bald headed by the time I come up out of that. So. Oh no, you have to. I'm letting it breathe. I had those braids, those twists in for three months. Okay. Um, and that was a protective style, but now, oh yeah, we ready. So she got her nails on, and we can go to the next segment of the show, which is the she's pressed. My favorite segment. Why is not showing? Oh, because I didn't put the right thing the on there. Graphic. Cause this is my other favorite part. See, see, I'm, I don't know what I'm not. Okay, going. so how you do this? Let me show you. So <laughs> this go? go up some. This is she's press, and unfortunately, see, so got to go up there. I can't work with these, so I don't know how people do. But what's new in she's press is now I am offering the extended lift and the um. I don't know. Where's no? Well, that came right there. I guess I put. Nope, I forgot to download it. Oh See, this is what happens. Live on why. I am now offering the extended length in the stiletto and the coffin. So you know how they be having like the real hood bats, long nails. Yeah. They are? So this is what I'm now offering. So now. it's the so extend. They're called extendo. Extendo coffin and, and extendo stiletto. stiletto. So now, what is the other nail? Y'all, these are stilettos. The other ones. The other one that look like. Flat, look, like look like little pieces of paper on people. Like they just be straight. That's just the nail. Like they don't build them up. So these oh, are not okay. flat. These are built up. Okay. So they got a little, you know, foundation. The okay. apex has been built up. They're sturdy. I just don't know how to work with them. I don't know how people be doing stuff. Like I'm scared. I'm gonna take out my contact. I think you should try to practice with them for a little. I, I like them on you in the summertime. Cause I got eight more weeks of school, seven more Monday wake ups before I'm on semi break. 
Lake. So then we're going to have these all, all summer long. Okay, yeah. I think I'm going to love them. I, I like them. They look, they look nice. So look nice. I'm going to ask your forgiveness now, people. If I am not manning the computer like I normally do, forgive me. And y'all just saw I tried to go over there and help, and I don't know. I'm feeling we've been, do, we've been doing, doing this show for a while now, and she's I, never done a computer. I've never. I've never touched a computer. Never. We've been okay. through what? Two producers? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. We didn't been through producers. We didn't been location A, B, and C. We working it out, we but it's all, as long as we are having fun and running our mouth mm-hmm. and drinking sin, drinking sin. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what we got. And then what we got? I don't know something in it. Turquoise look like some glitter. When they go hurt nobody. Oh Lord. So. <laughs> we going to move on to the next portion of the show. Yes. Okay. So the next portion is the what's on your, what's popping segment. So this is when we talk about what's. <laughs> Y'all missed this shit. <laughs> Just talk to a Marty Rock. So look, so we going to do what's popping and um, we going to do the current events. And uh, what is the current event? So. Uh, what are oh, I want to talk about something that's going on. What? Okay, so y'all know how, if you don't know, in Florida, they have a bill that they pass where educators are not allowed to talk about, like, they didn't say gay in the bill. It's sexual orientation. Okay. Um, so they're calling this like the anti-gayness bill, where you cannot talk about, talk to kids about their sexual orientation and about all this extra stuff. So, on Friday, what I saw was some kids walking through the hall at school, and they had their mask on, and they were like, day of silence. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty odd. So, me being me, I stopped, and I said, it's a day of silence, and they shaking their head, and I said, oh, okay, good luck with it, and walked away. Well, something said, if sure. multiple kids got day of silence, maybe you need to know why. So, I stopped with a little girl. I think, well, I stopped the person because now we don't know what to call he, she, male, fail, male, female, girl, boy. So I stopped the little, I stopped the little person and I said, um, so why is it a day of silence? And they actually pulled out this mini sheet of paper. They wasn't even going to tell you what it was. They weren't, but they was just like, they looked at me like, uh, I want you to ask what it was. So this paper on the day of silence said. Our silence is loud. Today I am silent. Please understand my reasons for not speaking today. I am participating in a nationwide youth protest called the Day of Silence to show awareness for LGBTQIA plus children who have been silenced throughout the neighborhoods due to societies and schools. Can't read that part. Schools. What is that? Agree to conceal gayness. Children around the world have been silenced through the harassment, prejudice, and discrimination. And I believe that science needs silence needs to be broken. So sorry, the flash was covering yeah. up some of the words. So this is what they were. And I was just like, wow. well, I support you. I'm not going to talk while I'm in a hallway. Have a good one. Then I threw up the <laughs> fist, not realizing that yeah. this was Black Power. Black I was like, power. I support you. <laughs> I did. I guess think I was just like right on, and they were not black, but <laughs> they got it. They got it. They got it. And every time they saw me in the hall, I just be like, like silent yeah. and walk, and they'll just smile and wave. And by the end of the day, when I was doing bus duty, they came up like, "We can talk now. We went through the day. Thank you." And I was oh, like, was "You're so welcome." Nice. Black power. <laughs> that was so nice. Um. Current events for me. What did I see this week that tickled me? It had to be something that tickled me, and I can't quite remember. Mm. Oh, was it the future thing? Uh, it was the future thing that tickled me. Um, they said the future was the best rapper alive. Lies or lies. And it was GQ that said it, and I think that GQ was probably uh quick baiting or um, they were getting us riled up so we could talk about this and we could read the article and mm-hmm. give it some attention. Um, 
Oh, that was another one. But <laughs> um, he gonna get sued. Um, so they talked about that, and they talked about how Future's um, method of rap or his style of rap has encouraged a whole new genre of rap. So that's why they're saying, like they said, since he has came, we have had so many, and I'm, they did not call it mumble rap. It's y'all. mumble rap. Well, they we have had so many artists that come out under his um his style. So that's what they were claiming, you know. And I kind of sat there for a while because I, you know, I'm a I'm a linguist. <laughs> So I was playing with them words and I was like, maybe they're not saying that he the best lyricist. They're just saying he the best rapper. So when I finally got into it, that's what they were saying. But that was quite funny. To me. I think it's funny because it's funny. you can't understand them. Like to this day, I don't know what Timmy, who is Timmy Turner? Isn't that the song Timmy Turner? I don't know whatever is he that, says. Is that future that's saying Timmy Turner? I don't know. I think they all sound the same. So I'm not a future friend, but I thought you were talking about how he, a lady asked him, did he want any more kids? He got like six or seven. And he said, like, if I get married, I want kids, but I want two or three from the same woman because I don't have more than one by one woman. And I think that'd be special. No, no, no. (laughs) So ladies, you are special if future desires to have more than one with you because he only got one. Well, all the other ones. No. So we all here. No, mm. I, no, I didn't. I didn't get it. Oh, that's that. not future. Sorry, they all sound the same. Uh, see, I, it wasn't him that he sings something about Gucci's, right? Don't he got a song about Gucci flip flops? I don't know. Yeah, they all the same. I will say, what was it? I forget what it was, but I did like one of them. One of them albums. One of them. I can't remember which one it was, but yeah. I liked one of them. I, I'm lost, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. Um, I just saw here somebody said, Demar said the slap at starters. That's like the slap that was heard around the world. Because did you see the video? I, did I felt not see the video. I saw the video and I had to call Marnie and tell her, we know the slapper. <laughs> call him up. Like when we go out, we need a bodyguard. Can you be our bodyguard? No, no. I was <laughs> now when she told me who it was, and because because we know this person, we're going to keep their name yes um, because we are internationally uh you yes uh, what is show here yes and we do As not my co-host promote. says we are uh internationally syndicated yes and we do not promote and violence we do not promote violence but, but you put your hands I, in my face when i heard the name i said oh yeah uh yeah i can see that now yeah, I can see. That. He plays no games. Good thing we cool. Good thing we cool. <laughs> That's my forever space partner. So shout out to my forever space partner. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Oh yeah, there was designer. Oh yeah, he sounds just like Future. So Future might be his daddy. Um. Another uh. Um. Current event in the oh. in the comments was Mike Tyson. He he getting sued. And he you can't be in Mike Tyson just smack somebody up in the airplane even if they are bothering you because your hands are registered weapons this Kick gonna, them. this gonna go we gonna have to watch this one because i don't yes he could possibly be this too but people get sued every day b i mean they do so. it's up to you to have the uh legal team to beat the case that is true so got daddy on the um yes and on the current you, event Tom jones for always supplying us with the current shout out to my daddy see <laughs> when i tell y'all this is a family thing <laughs> they help us out so daddy said number one miguel cabrera reached three thousand hits well, became, congratulations. he became the seventh player with three thousand hits and 500 home runs so shout out him for the detroit tigers, the detroit tigers. downtown was off the hook i didn't know it was a game till i got down there it was two games it, a double header a the double other header was and out. the um what do you call that? What do you call that? The Red Wings played. Did that? Yeah. Oh. Those are my two teams around this town. Mm. I want to go to a Red Wings game. I heard You've it never last. been to a hockey game? Mm-mm. Quite insane. <laughs> See, how do people oh, answer the phone with these nails? I'm really struggling. You're not struggling. The next one, in two years, the NFL will have the draft in Detroit, and that's supposed to be a big deal. Why? Because it's bringing in money to the city. So it's going to bring a lot of money into okay. the city. It's going to for some more jobs because you know you'll have people um, manning the concession stands and you know all type of 
venues and having parties and things like that. But they have this uh, countdown clock downtown. Oh, do they? Where? I'm Currently, it's here. 700 and maybe 26 days until the um, draft will be here. She is trying to get this glitter. Um, <laughs> 700 plus days before it'll be here. But it's right there. You know where the fountain is that at Campus Marshes yeah. by the park. It's right on the other side of that. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna have to go check it out. I didn't see Yeah, it. you can stand up under it and take your picture and everything. They had a really big party, but it was so cold down Did there. They? they had a big party, but it was so cold. Um, Roger Goodell was here. Who was that? Roger Goodell was here and um, some other uh, NFL <laughs> Hall of Famers were here. Roger Goodell is the commissioner of the NFL. Oh, thank um, you. <laughs> And, um, you know, the mayor was here, you know, Rob still scared. But he, everybody was here, so. Speaking of the mayor. What did he do? He had COVID early April, but now he is doing well. Oh, that's, so that's just the latest. That's of just that. fantastic. The Powerball is up to $400 million. And although I don't play, I feel I should play. And you know what? When it gets that high, I feel like I have to buy at least one ticket because I want to know if the Lord is ready for me too. to have that money. And, I will, and I'm telling the Lord, I will pay my 10% tax. <laughs> yes, I already know the churches because I'm going to split them up. You're going to split them up? Because yes. Like certain churches that I have visited or I have I been a part give, of. I would give my 10% to the perfecting church so they can finish that building. All right, because I don't house. think he's going to finish it. So I he say this this 10% it. is allotted to the building, but I have to disperse it. He would he, he would have a caveat with this money. So I think I, don't I, think, trust the, him. I, I think that issue that we're having with the church is that they didn't get any bank funding. They're actually oh. funding this church by themselves. They got enough money. They better do a, a, going to a like wine and concert. People Ooh, not going yeah. to church like they used to. They are. So <laughs> I get the majority of it to Triumph because that's where I am a current member of. So. <laughs> and the last one. Um, and then I got a shout out to Rita who punched her bully in the face. Uh, <laughs> is that really true, Rita? We're too old to be fighting, but no. good job. You know, I don't, I don't promote violence. We don't promote, violence, but if you were defending but, yourself, uh, hey, because we ain't no punks hey, over here, hey, but hey, hey, don't hey, break a nail, hey, just and I ain't gonna never let nobody walk up on me with no open hand. That is the truth. When I see you walking too fast, I move. Ooh. Whether you kid, adult, male, we we robbing and weaving. What's going on here? Listen, what up? What's you gonna going? have to catch me. Catch me if you can. Yeah. And the last one is. Out of the 20 river walks in the country, guess which one was voted number one? Uh, Navy Pier. No. Oh. Detroit River Walk was voted number one out the country for the best river walk. We don't even have no Ferris wheel. We won. It's so pretty. You see the river. They have restaurants. You have Shane what Park. What restaurants? The, you know they got little restaurants there. We can go buy food and ice cream and stuff. You mean a scam? It's not, it's like a little, it's little. I mean, you sit outside, but it's a little building. I don't know. I ride my bike on there and walk. Uh, they got the little sprinklers that come up in it. It's a sand Where park. Where the kids be playing. You got the sand park. You got some stairs. The river walk is nice. So shout out to Detroit and the river walk. Oh, good. nice plug. Shout out, Lorenzo. <laughs> Break them nails in the, the hum she's pressed. Um. You mean the river, the, the Detroit River Walk? I'm hot again. I guess we just got to keep this fan on. We got to keep the fan on. I was getting The cold. Detroit River Walk won the best river walk in all of the nation. Don't look so frowned up. I've been to thing. some good river walks. You know, with like good restaurants on the river. Hey, turn it with these nails. <laughs> <laughs> I am struggling with these nails. I can't wear these tonight. I can't. Go all the way that way is low. I can't. I don't even know how we have to use the restroom. We have to. Yeah, we're taking these off off after the show, people. These nails are not working. San Antonio got a good river walk, but we won. So screw they river walk. I got to screw Navy Pier. I gotta check these. I don't even care. That's a pier, but still, I don't even know. I don't even know. I guess it's on a lake. So we won. So speaking of, we won. Let's get into this topic because 
women. Y'all women. ready? Y'all ready? And not only are we ready, I'm gonna speak for my my side of the house. Okay? Wait, don't let me introduce. I gotta pull up this thing. Shoot, pull up this thing. But I'm gonna speak for my side of the house. We're gonna actively listen. Who? Because y'all know. Oh, like the, the girls on the aggressive side. We like to tussle. Okay, we like to tussle. We don't want to hear it. We are going to listen. We're going to listen. We're going to try our best. As long as he's talking like good stuff. Because y'all know I zone Even off. if he say some bad stuff, I'm going to listen to what he got to say. But please understand, the views of the perfect pair are of our, are our own. Are our own. Now, we, unless we agree with his. Yes. <laughs> so let's bring our guests to the stage. Ew. <laughs> hey. What we do? We can't hear you. Is your volume on? Is your volume on? I didn't touch nothing. I know. This time. I'm sure you didn't touch nothing. Did your fingernails do something? I don't think my fingernails did anything. Can y'all hear him? Here we go. I didn't change nothing this week. She ain't do nothing this we week. We can't hear you. I did not touch nothing. I what hope did my nails did. <laughs> what is it? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Somebody tell us if y'all can hear him. Mine says not muted. His says not muted. That one is on up there. Because they can hear us. They wouldn't have been able to hear us. Okay. Mm. No, no, we, we can't, can't hear, hear him. him. So they can't hear you either. So check your, uh, make sure you're not muted. Did you plug anything in? If you got headphones plugged in? No, Pam, no, no headphones. Well, at least we can read lips. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep, the, the people saying they can't hear you. So thank God it was not me. You ain't did nothing. <laughs> I used to be messing up. Did you you have it turned up? Even though it's not muted, is your volume turned up? Yes. Um wild old man station. So you said no headphones, you got it turned up. Usually when we screw up, they can't hear us. No, they can hear you, but we can't. Yeah. So we didn't screw up. So I feel a little happiness. Okay, so wait there. a minute. How do we Let's help them? Let's see. Go out, go out, and come back in. Yeah. Let's just try that. Yeah. It's, it's right next to uh control out delete. But come go out, and, out and then come back in and see if something just needs to be reset or something. Okay. Oh, we no, don't go. We got action. Don't go. What did you do? Uh, I had to go through the sentence. For some reason, it was set. It wasn't set to the speakers. Oh, okay. see, all right. See, we got action now. You see what I'm saying? Good thing you listen to strong women on what to do. Larissa, Here you go. Here the one you that go. Red up here, I'm gonna leave that one alone. Go out and go back in. There you go already. <laughs> okay, so we have the wonderful Demar. We went to Eastern together, so shout out to him. Thank you for being a guest. Damar has a lot of stuff under his belt. Okay, let's uh, let's do it. So I do know you just got like a new job or a promotion. You didn't tell us, but I remember seeing it on Facebook. What was? Yeah, it? I did. I did. Uh, you want to tell us? Uh, it's water affordability coordinator for Oakland County. So ah! water affordability. Yeah, trying to make water more affordable for uh, communities that are struggling. I love it. So congratulations! Look, at, we like our people doing good things. Want to shout you out? He also has a book called Self Evaluation. Wait, Self Evaluation: The Art of Self Care Devotionals. Mm -hmm. So go on Amazon, check that out, as well as my unbiased opinion: The enemy is inner me. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit about that. So that that's a quick read. It's a uh, it's, it's on the lines of a self help type book. Uh, Kind of compiled all the stuff I had been going through at one point. Um, did a lot of posting on Facebook. People was like, man, you should put that in the book. So took a, a lot of years of stuff I was going through and notes I had written on napkins and everything. Just compiled it finally and produced it. So it, 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 it's a quick read. Like I said, a lot of people said they benefited from it. Um, biggest feedback I got uh, every year, I send some to guys incarcerated. So... Oh. You know, get a lot of feedback with that. Okay, that's some good stuff. Um, and the last thing you have a uh, um podcast called Manalogs. Yeah. 
So y'all just talk about men issues or what? Uh, it, it got burnt. It, I had this idea. Um, I actually had got COVID. So during um, COVID, I was quarantined by myself. You know, the world was shut down. There wasn't no real outlet. So I'm like, man, like, what what do you do? Like, you, you can't go to the barbershop to talk to nobody. You can get on the phone. But, you know, what I'm saying, guys, we don't sit on the phone all day. No. So, I mean, I'm like, man, what, do, what kind of outlet we got? So, like, the thought just came to my mind. So we started jumping online and uh, just going back and forth, man, getting an opportunity. Because a lot of times men want to say stuff, but they don't feel like they had an outlet. Okay. So we were trying to be the catalyst to let me know, man, it's okay to not be okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to, oh, that's real. Yeah, to try to express yourself and you, to get the, get those feelings out. So that that's the basis of it. That's real. So what I'm going to try to do while we have our conversation, I am going to try to input the link so everybody can make sure they tune in to it and check you out. Oh, not and a problem. I'm going to do the links for the books too. If not, everyone, because I'm having difficulties with these nails, I will be posting it and sharing it on my page. Yes, and, and page. I'll, yes. So we'll make sure we get it out there. So let's get to the, the juicy stuff. Let's get so, to it. It was a question. Um, actually, Damar, you sent me this video and you posted it in one of our groups about how women are intimidating to men. Or are they? It was a question asked. And, the yeah, it was a question. and so I reposted the question on my Facebook page. And I'm telling you, people, they they had a lot to say a about lot. this question. And the thing is, we have to define what is considered a strong woman. Because somebody made a point that sometimes a strong woman isn't something that's positive because she's coming with trauma and a lot of issues. So let's all say our definition of strong woman, women before we get into it. So when I think of like a strong woman, I think of someone who has herself together and is mentally strong and not taking BS. You know what I'm saying? Like she'll stand up for herself mm -hmm. and to make sure she's respected. That does not mean she's evil. That does not mean she got too much mouth and she's argumentative. That is a whole different type of woman. It's just a woman that's assured of herself. She knows what she wants and she knows how to get it while being respectful. Boom. So that's mine. Um, Demar, uh, you go with your uh, definition because mine are real simple. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't think it's a, a, a man's place to kind of describe what a strong woman is. Mm. I don't I don't think it's a man's place to describe what a strong woman is. And honestly, that's... Sh- it, it falls for me into the lines of success. Mm-hmm. Success and that stuff, it all means something different to everybody. Mm-hmm. And so now that it's so generalized, because what does strong really mean? Mm. Okay. What does strong really mean? Like you could put all those adjectives to it, but what does it really mean? Does strong mean how much you can endure? Does strong mean how much you can carry? Like, so that that's mm-hmm. the whole point. Yeah. So we throw these words out here and people start wearing them like a badge of honor. See? And not knowing, like, what you delivering may not be perceived as strong. Ooh. Okay. Talk to See? it. That's what I'm talking about. And my definition was just very, you know, is it depends on the person. And it depends on the day. For the most part, I would consider myself to be a strong woman. But I have bad days. That doesn't make me any less strong. It just means mm-hmm. I'm a woman. Right. That's it. I'm strong, but I don't feel like I lead with that. Like how some people lead with, I'm a strong, independent woman. I never lead with that because I don't really want to be strong and have to take on the world. That's when I'll be thinking of stuff like that. Oh. But I'm going off on a tangent. Y'all know me. It was It's the sand that kicked in. <laughs> All right. So do you think, Damar, that women intimidate men? No. I think I you think women... See, Marty, you're not going to do this already. <laughs> <You're not. laughs> no there is not an intimidation factor the the problem is and, and let me preface this first because we i get this on our podcast when i say women i'm not meaning all women i mean this pocket segment is is definitely pocket segment of women so i'm not meaning all women so when i say it but women tend to think because they built this wall up they built this identity of behind their degrees and everything that if a man doesn't like them or doesn't adhere to what they think 
Ooh. He's weak and she's okay. strong. Everybody is not going to like you. Everybody is not meant to be in your life or in your path like that. So we got to stop diminishing people because they don't choose us. Oh, yeah. not, choos not choosing you don't mean they weak or that you strong. And that's that's what so it's, it's definitive in those answers. So we can't say that men are intimidated by a quote unquote strong woman. So and being strong don't mean that your degree means you're strong. Your mm -hmm. bank account means you're strong. You mm. see, a lot of times we throw all those intangibles in there and say, oh, that makes me a strong woman. Well, or the amount you, of abuse that you can uh, endure. Yeah. That don't make you strong either. No, nowhere near. Nowhere near. And that's that word loyalty. People think loyalty means how much you can endure. It don't. Nope. Yeah. Ooh. Loyalty means that you go stand up for whoever you consider that person, your friend or family, when they're not around. That's loyalty. Right. But enduring the BS that they putting on you, that's not loyalty, that's stupidity. Hello, talk to me. From the I'm right here. side of the church. Hello. Listen, so so men are not intimidated. So the, the biggest problem is a lot of women assume when a man doesn't conform, he can't handle her. No, I, I shouldn't have to handle you. Like, you're not a zoo <sighs> animal. Why do I need to handle you? Yeah. I don't need to I handle you. Like when men and women come together, it's supposed to be complimentary. Like I shouldn't have to handle you in any aspect of your life. That's true. Mm -hmm. So that that's the thing. Like it's not an intimidation factor. It is it's the point that we are we just so vastly divided that we use these words like intimidated or strong or you weak. Like those all those words are divisive, and and, and we use it because we don't communicate effectively. We don't. Mm -hmm. That is a problem. We don't communicate effectively. I mean, you started this saying that y'all was going to listen, you know what I'm saying, listen to understand. But that's the biggest thing. We don't really listen to understand. We, we listen to respond. We do. And so, like, and that's one of the things with our podcast. So that's when we were actually saying, hey, this is what me and I are going through. Like, that that whole timing of it doesn't work. So when somebody is telling you what they're going through, that is not your time to say me too. It's not. Say that one more time because it's people not, don't understand. For the people in the back of the church. It's not your time to say me too. If if, if you wanted to express yourself in that vein, then you should have said that. You should have started off. Of, but the point of somebody expressing themselves or what they're going through or what may be bothering at that point where when you rebuttal with me too, now it's like, well, damn, I why did we even have this conversation? Why? I want to talk about what's going on with me. I need to get this off my chest. Or I, have I a, need support. I have a friend that does that, and we used to, I'm not going to say the friend name, but we used to call it, like, let's say the tangerine syndrome, when whenever you talk about you, they got to come back with a story about them. And right. they used to, like, I don't want to hear about your story. Dang, that was kind of deep, no, 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 Lorenzo has a really good comment here. It says, when women mention intimidation, it refers to men that they know are below them financially or academically. When it's reversed, they call men controlling hypocrisy at its finest. Interesting because, and yeah. I'm going to just say this from speaking, when you think of men that the have, is getting to her. it is, I got, I finally got it, y'all. I'm sorry. But when you think of men and you think of men with money and, you know, sometimes they're like, oh, I want my woman to be A, B, and C because we all have preferences. Us women go to, he just wants to control me. Hmm. I, I I really have seen that. I probably have said that too, but I do agree with um, Lorenzo. I yeah. have yeah. um I have settled on. I'm not gonna say I shouldn't say the word settle, but I have come to terms with I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay. That like is. I don't have to be everybody's cup of tea. So if I'm interested in somebody and they're not interested in me, that's fine. It's better for us to find out in the jump. Then for us to get down the road and we think we like each other and we really don't. The only okay. way I'm bringing up, I think a guy is intimidated is if he's bringing up what I have. Okay. Like I've been in a situation where he wants to refer to, oh, you think because you got this. Now we've never talked about, you know, I'm not about to just sit and brag about education or finances, but if you bringing it up, what is that saying to me? Doesn't that mean like he's intimidated if that's your only argument? What? And to a certain extent, um, that can be 
a slight form of intimidation because sometimes women use that against you. So if, if he's backpedaling off that, he he may be in this coming from experience where it was used against him, somebody who's made was more financially stable in that time period. Okay. So, but with Lorenzo saying, I, I agree. And, and then you use the words preferences. That's one of the biggest issues. When a woman states her preferences, it's, okay. it's, it's ghost sis, you strong, stand on that, be that. When a man states his preferences or, you know what I'm saying, or his uh, non-negotiables, it's, oh, how dare you? Not you're bashing women. You don't, then it's, then it's this new thing. If a man don't like you, he got to be gay. It's like, wow. Like, or, like or, you, or like that doesn't mean phenomenal. You that that you that full of yourself there because this particular man don't like you, and then if it's multiple men, damn, maybe it's something wrong with you. Or like, or the new phenomenon. The new phenomenon, Demar, is he a narcissist? Yeah, oh, man. Everybody's a narcissist. Everybody. Where did this? Where did, this is like the key word Listen, now. That word right there. I have did so many Google searches on that word alone to get better literature, better yeah. understanding, because I'm like, why y'all just keep, everybody, yeah. everybody I know is a narcissist right now. And I'm like, no, it just seemed like they make their own decisions. <laughs> I don't it, know. It's because it became trendy. Like, yeah, okay. It, it's, it's easy to label somebody versus try to understand them. Nah. But so a lot, a lot of times women, want to label a man a narcissist when he does not conform. That does yes. not make a man a narcissist. Well, like I said, if you have your standards, how dare you not allow me to have my standards? And because my standards may be different than what yours are, don't make me a narcissist. How it's dare not. you have standards? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we say that and, it, and it's crazy. Like a lot of women feel like men should not have standards. You should only check off the boxes that she feel like she needs from you. Right. And now when I say my standards, I ain't your mama, I ain't your grandmama, I don't do that. Like, damn, how dare you? You get that from your mama. Right. Um, like, that's crazy. I didn't know it was an actual diagnosis. Allie. Yes, it is. It because it's a serious uh mental disorder. Yeah, it oh, is. I know that. Yeah, no, that taught me that, something. But that's what I said, and that's why it's trendy now. Nobody they don't even know what that really means to be clinically diagnosed, like because that's people like narcissism almost is like multiple personality. Yes. Hmm. Or like like paranoid uh person personality just like listen, it's a lot of stuff out here. You just can't be going around calling people stuff and you don't know. Now, so I, I'm about to go on my little y'all know how I be going on my tangents. Uh just got a text to say my nails are long as hell. Uh <laughs> I thought because she can't comment because she watches she it watches on TV. On TV. So she always send me texts and I'm thinking she about to ask a question. Sister. Okay. I do feel that some men are intimidated by women. And I'm going to say I've had a conversation with a gentleman. And one thing that he said was he would not be with a woman that makes more money than him. So, so then I have a question with, with so, that example. I have a question, Jamar, and you can mm -hmm. answer it to, to give us a better understanding. Are we just use are some men using the word intimidating the wrong way? See, I, I don't think men ever use the word intimidating. Hold on now. Hold, hold on now, Demar. I, just, I know I just told you you could say something, but Listen, let me tell you. I, I'm talking about in, in a generality, men don't say, hey, man, she intimidating. Yes, it, the it, fuck yes, they, they do. do. Man, man, you want me to pull up the beautiful bean footage? Hey, you are so you know what? You're so beautiful. You kind of you, you kind of intimidate me. I listen. was gonna try to talk to you, but you just so intimidated. Ooh, wow. You, wow, listen, excuse the fuck out of me. Just ask me if I want to go out. Oh, I can't wow. because it gets on my nerves. <laughs> so, hold on, they they use it from a standpoint of your appearance is intimidating, yes. Oh, the more I learn about you, you kind of intimidating, baby. Yes, I like you. Like I don't know if they think that it's part of their game, or that's what turn that, me on. But but that's what it is, and it's it's stupid. Like why why would stupid. you tell a woman her appearance is intimidating? Stupid. I know a lot of times, like back in the day, dudes are like, man, oh you too fine. I know you got somebody, like, but I ain't yeah. never heard. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you so pretty, you intimidating. Like for what? <laughs> why? This is what they do. And then when I'm, you say, 
Demar, when you ask them why, you know, I like when I just saw you, it's just like I ain't even know what to say. Anything, goddammit. You got your stuff together. I bet you I intimidate don't care. a lot of but, brothers out here. But see that that's the point. That's the lack of being able to communicate yourself. So what I, I learned this in college too. What I learned in college is because I was a late bloomer. Like I tell you, like in high school, first start part of high school, I was five foot seven. Grew, I grew over a summer to six two. Oh, okay. and all of a sudden, everybody went, Oh, who you cute? All like, nah, uh-uh, it's too late. Yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> they usually stretch the kids out when they get a bigger bed, that stretch the kids right on out. Yep. That is hilarious, but yeah, so when I got to college, like, I had never really, you know, what I'm saying, had a bunch of chicks after me or whatever, you know, what I'm saying, so I'm like. So when I'm approaching them, I'm still from the five foot seven version, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A little shy, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, no, the inches do something. Like right. And I'm like, you know what, man? The word no ain't gonna kill me. That's the worst you could say. So at that point, my approach became, hey, listen, I'm interested, want to meet with you, talk to you, whatever. You say no, it's no. That's what I'm like. So that's what I'm saying, like saying intimidating, that's crazy. Did they say your appearance is intimidating? They they may say it like your success is intimidated. Like they use a little bit of everything. Yeah, they try to they try to make a nice little cocktail. And I think you hit it on the on the head. Is that it, it's a lack of being able to communicate. So they say that and then expect us to fill in the blanks. I'm not filling in the blanks, my my good brother. If you want to talk to me, you better say something because I don't use no context clues. We right. going straight to the horse. Now I got a question for y'all. So okay. why 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 is it when women play the 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 hard to get role? Like we too we too grown for that. Don't 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 play hard to get when a man is trying to approach you and home. and he's giving you you know what I'm saying the vibe home. he's giving you the vibe you want but okay. you play hard to get. What is considered hard, hard to get? get? We just not like giving up the booty or something. We no, like no, 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 Like you playing, you playing this role. Not saying giving up nothing. I'm talking about just yeah. No, nah, I don't know if I'm really interested. No, nah, huh? Oh, but it, oh, because oh. a lot of women play it to see, say, oh, I just want to see how interested he is, like that, and that's crazy to me. Like if you interested, be interested, because playing hard to get go make you hard to want. But I think and I would say I like that hard to get make you hard to want. So. I think I used to play more games younger because you just sometimes you just want to know like how far can I go? What he go do? I don't do I know? I don't know. I think I just lost myself um, in the gym. Go so ahead, because I've got I, I don't play those types of games. If you no. say you interested in me, I'll give you a shot. But during your shot, if you fucking up at the free throw line or you can't make a layup, I'm out of here. I'm, that not is to, true. I'm not about to fuck around with you. I'm not. And I think, is it hard to get, or is it just we are waiting for you to do something? To do something. Like, just because you say, I'm interested, or can I have your number, it seems like now with the way times are changing, I'm supposed to now switch it and come after you. So I think things are a little bit different the way men and women see it. Okay, you interested in me. Here's my number. You just about to text me what you doing today. death. You so got me? I'm hard, you know, I'm playing hard to get because you like... Where you at? Why? Say, call me and say hello. Don't beautiful queen me, but just how you doing today? You know what I'm saying? Let me that. do that to you. I get that. So I think yeah, now yeah. the way times have changed because women have become more aggressive, I think men kind of fall off on what they do. And now they try to blanket it in this motherfucking word called intimidate. See, but that... It, it's still, pissed. I, don't, I, I want you to know it, I am pissed tomorrow. My it's sister still, said, it's still far back. I'm supposed to what ask is. you, don't men like the chase? Of course, they like the chase. So, why are we hard to get? If y'all no, like to no, chase, no. See, give me a that, chase. That, it's two different things. It, 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 I'm going to tell you something that I learned. Okay. So, so we, we, we have to put these words in proper perspective. Yes. So, it's not about we like the chase. Okay. It's, it's as a man, you know, you have to pursue because anything you have to chase ain't trying to be caught. So it, it's on you. We know we have to pursue. Okay, wait, stop. No. Break it down for me. Give me, no. give me, break it down. Give me pursue and chase. Oh, give no. me how they did for again. I got it. I Come got on, it. give it to me. Listen. I work with special ed. 
listen, because I said anything that you got to chase ain't trying to be caught. So now I have to put on a performance trying to chase you. I have to do all of these theatrics trying to chase you to get your attention. But if I'm actively pursuing you, I'm giving you those intangibles. I'm calling you. I'm maybe sending flowers. I mean, that that's pursuit. Just what the fuck I'm talking about. Look at the kids you got out here, Jamal. You out here spending. I know you got about 14 out here. This is good. Yeah, I got three girls and I and they wear me out. They wear I you am, out. I am a girl dad. So yeah, I got My three girls. My sister's like, because she's coming. Yes, they do like the pursuit. And you know, yeah, and so. Jamal, the way that I understood what you just said, when you said chase, whatever you chase and don't want to mm, be caught. That's true. I like I watch a lot of animal plants. Mm -hmm. And I done seen a cheetah chase something down. And when something giving a cheetah the business, the fastest animal on the planet, it don't want no parts of what that cheetah want. So right. if you're chasing me, I don't want you. <laughs> I don't want you. I don't want no parts of what you're talking about. But if you're pursuing me, I I'm like actively, so I'm actively engaging you so we can get somewhere. Right. I don't, I never thought about the difference in chase and pursuit. I like that. That, though. that was perfect. If that was yeah. the, you, you I'm gonna have what? to tell somebody like I'm a motherfucker. We'll I, I want right you now. to pursue me. You don't have to chase me, but I, I do I want you to pursue. I don't want you. No matter you, write pursue down. I don't want you. I don't want you. Write pursue. I'm gonna have to use that today. <laughs> and see what what's what's really a lot of women don't want to uh, admit it because it. it it go against y'all code. <laughs> so a lot, like some of y'all need to tell y'all homegirls, stop going out with these dudes just to go out and get a free meal. Cause y'all, y'all creating these animals out here. These dudes who like don't care no more because they tired of being used. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So my my brother-in-law agrees with me. Y'all got to tell some of these women, stop, stop leading these dudes on for a free meal. So, okay. Let me ask you this. When you say leading them on, what if we tell them that I'm not interested? And they then, keep asking you out, and you like, okay, we can just go out as friends. No, you wasting your time. No, right. so you cannot go. You wasting you your time now. Go. Now you building a false hope. You so it, go. so if in his mind, I'm gonna tell you what happens. In his mind, when you it's finally say, you, you, no, when you when you finally say yes, he like, oh, I wore it down. The Steve yeah. Urkel effect. He thought he yeah. wore you down, Laura, and now that you go be his. Mm -mm, and not gonna do it. This goes back to what I've always said. Men that only want sex will use the intimidate. Yes, that's what they that's what they're using. In intimidation role to women that they are hard to get to attempt to soften them up. Men who know that their purpose is long term will tell you exactly what they want, regardless of your stance. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Watts. I don't, in, I, don't in the know about, I don't know about that one. Oh, wait a minute. So what, what's your what's your take on I that? Think, I think he owned something. I, I don't know about that one. Because like you said, intimidate telling a woman she's intimidating is almost is almost an instant turnoff. So using that word is not gonna get you any good graces. Okay, you said it's racist. I say it's not gonna get you in any woman's good graces when that I say it, that intimidation word is a turn off. So I don't we, see how you can use that as you know what I can see how they can because if he used the word intimidation, she may try to soften herself or try to make it a little bit more easier so that she does not appear intimidating. Because now I don't want him to feel that way. Oh my god, so I want to change it up a little because I am kind of attracted to him and I don't want him to be turned off. Yeah. Uh... But they do. I am going to say men use it a lot. Demar, you may not understand, but it is used a hell of a lot. We have some other comments and I'm trying to go back on my computer. Um, okay, so I, I just re really appreciate this uh, commentary that we have on it. Because right now I'm starting to look at things a whole different way. Like I knew it was bullshit from the beginning. Because mm -hmm. I'm, really, I'm a really cool person. I'm really cool. I just got this this dead yes. ass face, like I don't really smile a lot of nothing. So come on, with, don't come with no bullshit because I'm gonna be out of here fast. I was so lost because I just saw that. Yep, and so when I shut them down, they call me a hoe. This doesn't apply to abnormal shaped looking women. What? 
You've been doing good, Lorenzo, all, ta- all the time. I think he, oh, no, I don't want to get, I don't know. They're not going to cancel us off of reading your comment. I'm not going to. We're not about to <laughs> Nope. I had a couple questions, but I don't know if I wrote them down because I was thinking. So we wanted to we wanted to get back to yes, the, thank you, thank the, you. the notion of handle. When women say handle, what you said that you we're not because uh, women do say, "Oh, I'm a lot to handle." He got to be able to do it. He got to handle this attitude. To you, when you hear that, now, what do you hear? The the same way you were, you turned off by intimidating. The same way as man is turned off about handle. Okay. Okay. Because now, now you already present yourself that it's gonna be a it's gonna be a challenge. You already telling me, me and you trying to get on the same page is gonna be a challenge. That's okay. true. Because when you say handle that, I, I honestly all most men all automatically believe like she not gonna have she not gonna know how to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? She go try to get everything her way. So it's like when you say handle. We like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> but why do you think they say that? Because the thing, the thing of it is, I'm gonna go a little bit biblical here. Do, All right. Do you, this thing here that people always confuse because we love, we love cliches. Right. So, so now that the woman is the prize, is a cliche. Yes. Okay. It's a very cliche. Because it doesn't say that in the Bible, so we we want to pick and choose what we want to use for our for our own angle and advantage. Mm-hmm. It's all about interpretation. <laughs> it, no, 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 no. Yes. No. So we that's the thing. what we want from the Bible. It does not say it was an apple, but we interpret it was an apple. We don't interpret it as an apple. It said fruit. So but now you we always say apple. Eve ate the apple. You tell me who don't say Eve ate the apple. It's interpretation. So if I interpret. That he who fans a wife fans a good thing. I'm interpreting that when he fans me before I was but, like, I'm still okay. A good okay, thing. so now that's what I said. So you say that. You know my so, book. We, so we say that. So so you can say he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Mm-hmm. Guess what the what wife is described as? I don't know. What is it? The Proverbs 31 woman is the wife yeah. of the prize. It's a good woman that you find. Yeah. Now do you do you want to be that Proverbs thirty one woman, or do you want to be the twenty two hot girl and say, but still treat me like the Proverbs thirty one woman, but I'm gonna treat you like the twenty twenty two hot girl. I want to be twenty one hot girl. I ain't cooking. cleaning. I no, that's not what it is. Who's so, to say so we want to be a hot girl? So when Who's you keep to putting, say we have not used that as a default because the men have not stepped up. So it's like let us have our fun until you're ready. No, 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 no. So that's the point. That we we supposed to be in a preparation phase. If you say you want a certain thing, it's about preparation. I heard that so, so so long it. long as you long as you preparing to be a hot girl, you are not preparing to be a wife. Not even the same thing with a man. You not pre- and and that that's one of the biggest. That's one of the hardest things for real. And it's not to give any excuses, but we got to be. We got to speak reality. Come on, girls are giving dolls and little play kitchens from the age of two and three. True. So it's certain things that are being inputted into them. Little boys are giving a basketball, a toy gun, little soldiers. Like it's True. nothing like being inputted into saying man or father. Because mm-hmm. if a little boy pick up a dog, they go slap it out of his hand. How dare? No, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's not preparing you to be a father on how to handle a child or anything of that nature. So it's not making an excuse, but it's definitely a different learning curve. And so we got to be able to start trying to bridge that gap. And you know what I'm saying? And even mothers, you got to, as much standards as you put on your daughter, you got to put it on your son. Hello, so, say that one more time. Say it again. You got you to gotta put those same standards on your son because it's not fair in generality because now your daughter looking at you like, all right, so it's unfair in the household. He get to do this. I got to do this. Thank but you. Look, look, uh, look, Demar Juan taking girls down in the basement. You telling me I can't even stay outside. What's going right. on? Right. And that here? is the problem that we have. Women raise their daughters to be strong, independent, take care of yourself, not need a man, but they coddle their sons. So it starts off as a disconnect because the mamas feel 
the world will be hard to you let me cater to you now son and you want a woman that's going to take care of you but we are not teaching women to take care of men we are teaching women to take care of yourself and not depend on the man facts that that is 100 percent fact so we start we start off we're growing into a disconnect already absolutely Dang, that was deep for me. That was. I just gotta be yourself sometimes. Yeah, Shit. that that's that's an absolute that's an absolute fact. <laughs> and so, oh. and so, and that's why I said, and that's why communication and dialogue is. And I ain't gonna say when we say communication, we gotta also say comprehension. Hello. We got we they get the two C's got to go together. Yeah, show them, show them. Because yeah, me too. You, I'm glad too. You can communicate to you blue in the face. If this person is not Perfect. ready to comprehend what you're saying, it serves no purpose. It's not even just comprehend. If they're not ready to receive and be open to the information, because they understand everything that you're saying, but they don't want to make sense of it and apply it. So no, you, you gotta be, deal with somebody you, that's ready to receive. You'd be surprised how many people don't even understand. Shit. I do want and, and, and you and you can be communicating as as clear as you think you are, and they like, well, what you mean? Level. What you mean? What you saying? They, mm -hmm. it's not that they don't want to. Sometimes it's really just not registering. No, right. So uh, I wanted to um go back to Wasim had made a comment that did. I would. Wasim said, "You all have been making some really good good comments." Right, and sorry I haven't been able to read them all, but we are in the flow. But he says, "Some men, to be honest, some men are actually intimidated by women. For every confident man, there are two to three men with no confidence that are approaching you, and that is the truth. I do feel that men are intimidated by the success of a woman, whether that's academic success, whether that's uh, financial success, because a lot of times." women are more stable than men i i i agree so but this is we got kind of got off track so this is where i was going with that when i said the prize yes so listen th this is the thing the relationship the marriage or whatever the partnership is the prize now okay. it can be two good people now if you want to have successfulness you put the relationship as the prize not no, not no person. Not the persons are not the prize. Yeah, the persons are not the prize because you can be two good people and never can 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 come together and produce anything. Well, I'd be damned. Two good people don't mean that they good together. Uh, hello. That's what I said. So so no no person should keep saying, "Oh, I'm the prize," and so the that and that's why I think I think that thing with Wasim just said like that when you deal with a woman who carries herself like i'm the prize and you beneath me if that dude don't have no confidence hell yeah he's gonna be intimidated okay if he didn't got rejected by the last six girls they, yeah. they even tried to approach and, and then seven is the number of completion so you know i'm about to reject you <laughs> i'm doing something wrong Yep, I don't know. So, yeah, I don't so know. we 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 I can agree. Yeah, you can run into that situation wholeheartedly. Okay. So she ran in the station. But the, so I had we got we, wait we, we got we, so we, many notes. We got to stop labeling ourselves as a prize because we got a degree, we got a good bank account. You got all that shit is labels and titles. It could be stripping away at any time. Who are you? Who are you besides that? Who, who are you? And I, and I say a lot of times, man or woman, they can't tell you who they really are. I am support. Because the only thing they go tell you, they want, and this this is a crazy thing. I know women, and women hate this. So as much as y'all saying women hate intimidate, when they ask you about bringing something to the table. I, am, I was waiting. I was just I am about to say that. I added value to the table. What That's what I am. But, but honestly, when you have this conversation, it's always things that any mature adult can do for their self true oh i can cook or i can clean or i i can do all that too I i've been that. doing it i've been doing it before i met you i hate that so, question so i i that's the thing but nobody ever brings up intangibles it, it, it's never that hey i'm a good listener hey i i know how i know how to problem solve true. hey I, I i i got my anger under control like None of these intangibles are never listed. It's always about the money 
or the cleaning, the cooking, like, and that, that shit don't mean that. And that's why I don't like that question because the answer that I've been saying for the last minute, that's the only answer that I ever give. I add value. Whatever, whatever you trying to accomplish, let me be here to help let you. Let me make it better. Let, let, let me be here to help you. And we can try to make this better together. I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing else to say to that question. If you don't understand what value look like, keep it pushing. I don't even like that question. Like you should just be able to t- like, and I don't like you think that from, you should be able to tell. And I, I'm thinking of if you're dealing with somebody, you should already see the value that I have. If we dealing with Girl, each other, they done called you two times but, and ask you what you bring to the table. Oh no, they're not doing that to me. And see that, and and that's another thing. So when we, when they say that word controlling about like men with money. That happens because a lot of women place so much value on a man having money. We so do. You play. It, it's a high. It's a high amount of uh, pressure put on as having money. So when that man got money, of course, now you feel like, oh, I got it. It don't matter what else I got. She got like money is number one. So if I got number one covered, I can figure out the rest. I, I I I I maneuver my way around this long enough. Whether if I'm buying gifts, taking her out on great dates, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot. Of that, that's keeping her happy. That's keeping a smile on her face. That's true. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? He said he can figure out the rest in the interim. And that's what I said. So a lot of times, that's why it don't work because you never address those intangibles. That is it's true. Girl, girl, he got money. He got money. We we went to the buy. What? Now what? What happened when you came I- back? We got stopped at customs. Yeah, it ain't it ain't no it ain't no growth process. We got stopped at customs. Now he asked me for gas money. <laughs> yeah, it ain't no, we ain't got no money for no smokes. <laughs> so this was this, I mean, this was, shit. You didn't you didn't, you didn't really really listen to stop I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I was nervous, but I wanted to hear this conversation, she and was. I really she did not like it. I didn't I didn't like this. I didn't like this conversation at all because I have heard this fucked up word several times in my life. <laughs> I have. And but I understand what I've learned here is the people that use this word are stupid. <laughs> they lack being able to communicate. He he said communicate a lot. Yes. Um and with the communication you have to be able to comprehend you do um playing hard to get makes you hard to want that was Absolutely. good I'm glad you give me that one out. second one second oh shoot where are you going to the bathroom what? give me one second one so let us keep talking let so me make then us be it. he said uh pursue versus chase that was something that we uncovered here mm-hmm um i really like that i really like that it was a difference between pursue and chase listen and when he said chase i understood that <laughs> i understood so, what that i'm meant. really about to just be using that i you know i like that listen pursue. i'm gonna tell you like you about to chase me i want to be pursued you about to chase me i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell some some man that you about to chase me ain't nobody if chasing you ass, i don't want to chase me if, I, if i'm you you that don't want to be caught Exactly. That's what I'm saying. If I'm running that yeah. fast, I don't want to be caught. Exactly. I only want those who I want to catch me to exactly. pursue me. And, uh, and you gonna know you the right pursuer. And to the women that are watching this show, we have to remember, we have to be mindful to inform it. our friends, our girlfriends, uh-huh. stop going out for free meals. Yes. Y'all creating monsters out here. We can afford our own meals, ladies. Call me. I'll go out with you. Unless they really I'm not be just friends. I'm not paying for your meal, though, but we can go out. Like, don't leave these guys out because that's when gas starts yeah. getting crazy. Especially if you take you to a stuff. nice restaurant, mm, girl, and you right. buying sides by themselves and shit. Mm-hmm. So if you're not interested in the guy, we didn't heard this for years and years. Be careful about how much you do and talk to this guy because he's going to start feeling as if that it is more. And if you don't want more, you can turn this man crazy, especially yeah. if he's spending money on you. And especially if you don't have the money to spend. Ooh, and yeah. especially if he buying asparagus as a separate side because you already then bought the protein somewhere else girl don't be going nowhere with no man you gotta buy the but side fellas, if she tell you she not interested and she just want to be friends and you keep asking her out you want to be taking 
advantage of. That's all I'm saying. You can't convince her. No. So I, you just like, let me just keep, let me take you out because I think I'm going to change your mind. No. Mind is no, not no, no, no. But I will let no, you take is, me this out. This is a positive show here. Brothers, no, if, if sure. she's saying no, just just roll with it, okay? It's you okay. keep asking me. I'm gonna be like, you know what? Let me just give you this free meal. Let me just go. I'm Let not, me just give you. I'm not. I'm gonna meet you there. As for me yeah. and my household, we will serve the Lord. I'm not I'm going out. I'm gonna tell you like this loneliness makes a person dangerous. Ooh. Ooh, write that, that down. down. Write that down. Say it again where they can see you in the camera. <laughs> loneliness makes a person dangerous. Hey, so a lot of times hey. they only they only try to feel that loneliness. Like because they haven't, they haven't. No, a lot of people don't want to take the time to be with within themselves. True. Because with, when you are within yourself, you got to handle your own bullshit. Hello. I'm and so buy your book. And listen. And so when you dealing with somebody, it's it's easier to deflect. So you could be dealing with somebody like, man, oh, they ain't no. Let me tell you about them. Let me tell you about them. Let me tell you about them. Because you ain't never took the time to work on you. Because it, it may not really be them. It may be a lot of stuff you're still dealing with. I'm about to text this this to people. I'm about to text this episode to people and say, "Go to minute one eleven." Yeah, so, go, go there. Loneliness go make I'm mean, loneliness make you dangerous because, like I said, a lot of times you mm -hmm. build bonds mm -hmm. over trauma and, and things that that don't benefit you. Mm -hmm. So you know, what I'm saying them, them trauma bonds is real. So you deal with they somebody. Real. Oh, Oh, yes. I grew up in a broken home. You grew up in a broken home. Maybe we should be together. No, y'all still broken no, as hell. Not. Yeah, y'all still broken as hell. So how y'all bonding over that and ain't neither one of y'all growing? Let me tell you, them trauma bonds, baby. I don't even know about the rest. Listen, they something else. And it's, yeah. it's not fun. It's not fun. What else we come from this? Um, I think that's, you know. I, can, I wrote down the preparation phase. Yes. And relationships as the prize, not the individual. Yes. Yes. I like that. We learned so we much. We didn't learn we so much. We so much here. And I, didn't, I learned something else I thought about today. What? I forgot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that goes out the window. Shit. This was good you though. We it. have learned like I, listen, you said it so convincingly though. Because you know it was right here, but then as, after I said it, it was like oh. Wait, wait, and wait. what I find, what I think is just so positive about this, and I really hope that people share this, share this episode with their people on their pages with their friends because these are conversations that we need to have in the community because. As y'all seen over the past week, we were voted number four as the worst city for dating in Detroit. I see mm -hmm. why. <laughs> it's because we ain't doing no communicating and no comprehension. We out here going out with people for free meals. Everybody in the press. Everybody the fucking press. And they chase. Listen, and, and they chasing people. And I'm gonna tell Either you, the women chasing and the men chasing. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if y'all see me out and I tell somebody that you about to chase me. That's me rejecting him right there. I'm a, you about to chase me. I'm if not I gonna, say, I'm not gonna say no or nothing. I'm gonna say you about to chase me. What if I hit somebody with? I'll allow you to pursue me. <laughs> that was so wrong. Hey. That, was, that was so wrong. He, he got he got to respect that. Right. And he got he got to know what come with that. But I, I don't know. How would you really say that to somebody? I don't know. I'll be talking I shit. Allow you to but in that, real that's, life, that's I clear. That's clear. Yes, I like you know? it. Girl, so yeah, that's say, clear. Clear. We might do that shit tonight. Listen. We, you about to find the chase. I'm about to Listen. find Look, the, When he uh, say, we about to figure can I out. call you sometime? And then you say, I'll allow you to pursue me. No, that's too early. How? He is. I don't know. Today, that, not tomorrow. Listen, today. Listen, that, 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 that's setting the standard. That's today. saying, like, listen. Today. Hmm. Today. So, listen, you tell somebody I allow you to pursue me. That that don't mean text me. And, and do not. Bam! I'm telling everybody that texts me today. If you want to pursue me, call me. Yeah, that, that don't mean that don't mean text me. That hmm. Damn, this is good. This is, you have really been an added. You have, uh, right? you have added so much value to this episode today. I just want to let you know. The the dating pool does have P in it, but I'm trying to no, see who, don't. The, who don't like have, are on the side that we not the dating in pool it. don't have P in it. Who they got in diarrhea? No, listen, it, 
it's it like I said, everything is interpretation, and we 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 don't we don't interpret things correctly. It's more people hanging out versus dating. Dating That's is true. intentional. Dating is dating is I intentional. Feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> I feel attacked. He wasn't talking about you. Listen, dating attacked. is intentional. It's a lot of people just hanging out. Like I said, yeah. it ain't no attention behind it. It ain't no direction attached to it. So you really hanging out, but you calling it dating. So people, we start. We need to start being intentional, and we need to talk about those intentions. So if we're intentionally just going to be friends, if we're intentionally trying to get to know each other to do better, but we're not hanging out. If just we're yeah, intentionally so it, just trying to create some biology uh, moments. I mean, honestly, I mean, because when you when you are out here exploring, just just say, yeah, we hanging out because it, it's more than just you. We're now, getting you to know you, each other. When you, yeah, so when you say you dating somebody, that means you are you kind of narrowing down your views oh, and, your, and what you're looking for, and it's pre- particularly like you kind of narrowing it down to one particular person. But That's when you true. out here filling yourself out, just say, hey, we hanging out, we getting to know each other. Don't say we dating. Because dating started setting expectations. Shit. So, we gonna have to have you on another show, Demar. This is <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, it is. I feel like like I'm not, I feel like I just went to therapy. I like, feel so much better. Like about my I feel life. like I've received some really good dating advice from my dad, and my dad might have ruined me. I'm but about to say my dad might have daddy. ruined me, but <laughs> I think you have given me some sound advice on how I conduct myself when it comes to the opposite sex. Yeah. So let me just tell you this before we close out, and this is what I had to share with my daughters because my daughter, my oldest, is. 18 about to be 19 so it's this dating th- you know what i'm saying want to say she's dating now and what i tell her i said never expect a man to be me now you can you can see my my intangible qualities but never expect a man to be me because it, i brought you into this world it is my job to protect you at all costs now that man is coming to your life to compliment you i'm still coming in i'm still in your life to secure you as long as I'm breathing, I'm here to secure you. So don't expect that man to be me because he probably can't measure up to the amount of love that I have because I, I brought you in here. I'm about to hit the what the hell? So, so that's why I tell you, like, listen, don't ever, don't ever compare, don't compare the person that you're trying to be with to me because they won't be me. Well, we've been talking shit and I heard what he said. <laughs> I heard what he said. Now, unlike my co-hosts here, um, I have a, I have a trained I have a trained mama ear, so I can hear out of the left ear and out of the right ear my at the same water, time. Man, I, I was over here cracking myself, but, but I do apologize. What I understand is that a dad cannot be replaced. A dad cannot be replaced. They can. And I but, had to stop comparing people to my dad because I think my did you? I did because my dad is the greatest and I saw how he treated my mom and how he treated me. So I would go into stuff looking for that exact treatment and you can't because that took years and years and me and him have a different relationship than me and the guy that I'm dealing with. Do you see what I'm saying? I see. But when that's your number one male in your life, that's the guy that you see interacting with your mom you look for qualities like that yeah you look for the qualities you look but for you the just qualities. gotta you be for... cognizant that you're not about to jump into what you see your parents have yeah and but you gotta be cognizant to know that he's not him yeah so true, it, it's true, still true. things that they gonna handle differently so the worst thing you can do like uh, a man gets stuck in a situation where i'm gonna call my daddy well damn like no you strip my manhood away by selling you calling your daddy did you offer you didn't even give me opportunity to figure it out so if I tell you my shower handle is broken, you should just offer and say, I'm on my way. You right. should say, that's what I said. let me figure it out. And so that that's one of the things that. Let me write that down. That's one of the things like a lot of women, and I say women need to work on is you can't tell a man you need something done and tell him how to do it. Oh, Wait a minute! Wait, please! Oh, this was, this was a really Wait good a episode, man. We Come can't. On, man. We can't tell you. Say, so we can't tell y'all what we need and how to do it at the same time. No, because like I said, you strip how it. How are you supposed to know? Because you sh- no, let me handle it. Like so now. It's stri- different than what my daddy do. How I know it's right? E- exactly. That's the whole point. That's why I said stop the comparison. Oh shit! <sighs> he not 
Listen. We ain't doing something else to us. We know hey, shit is going this. good. We don't know how to do that. We don't know how to be quiet and let you listen. do it on your own. Six you plus three do on it. the same way five plus four equal nine. So we may not have to do the same equation, but we got the same result. He was doing so good. He was we doing want, so good. We wanted him to come back. My eye was watering just as my eye. <laughs> what happened? Jesus, in the I last seven years. I almost called a big head. And then he called a big head. <laughs> Listen, you, you, you can't do that. Okay, dang. So write so, that down. So. We can't. What would you say? We can't ask you to do it and tell you how to do it at the same yeah, time? Yeah, I said, you, you can't tell him you need something done and tell him how to do it. So we got to learn how to be quiet and just let him do it. Like, but what if he mess up? Then, then we, it's on we him to recover. We can't say, well, my daddy, no, we can't throw our daddy in. So we no, got to get on... my daddy out of it. No saying, and I can't even say favorite neighbor will do it. I just, just got to be quiet. See, and I'm, I'm a bad person because I will call the person after this shit has been solved like oh i called so-and-so to fix it well why didn't you call me uh because i knew someone so knew how to do it see that you 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 stripping away his manhood what well listen my that dad, you are you, be like dang i broke my shower of not i'm about to just start saying stuff shit like the door don't work how long the door not gonna work my dust pan cracked i said don't and all that kind of stuff, man. When a man do that, he knows it's gonna put a smile on your face. So for you to deviate and send it to somebody else, that he that's killing him. Really? Yeah. Yes, it is. I do know that. I did get I have been in the past chest asked for that. Like, why you call your daddy? You let me know next time something break. Because I, I know my daddy can fix it. I'd have been on the side of the road. And call your daddy. Call my daddy. <laughs> My daddy, and then you be like, yeah, my daddy, I just want you to know my tire, but my, my, my daddy on his way. My da- my what? Tire I'm on my busted. way before your daddy gets My there. tire was busted, my daddy came and fixed it, and now I'm back on the road. How the fuck you get in touch with your daddy? I called him. I know my daddy's going to be here. I know he's going to be here. You was busy. You was working. Don't want to bother you. Y'all got to so, so we got work to do. We've been Y'all talking about for like 20 minutes, though, because we keep doing it. You know what? Let me let me give you your cool dudes tomorrow. You have this, been this awesome. Been good. We, well, I appreciate that. Y'all, we, y'all, y'all had me nervous in the beginning. Y'all, y'all was. I thought y'all was about to tag team me like WWF in here. So, I'm, but you know what? If you seen any of our shows, you know we do we not belittle our guests. We don't make people feel bad. We may have differences of opinion, but we are going to respect it. And we I always will, want to make sure. And that. I will say we are a little more patient with the men because we know that you all. This is a. This is a forum for you to have an outlet to speak your truth. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we don't, you know, we want y'all to get it out there. Hey, if, if we can learn from it, then okay. And this page of notes, we got we have learned. <laughs> we took notes today, so you didn't we tell have us learned something. around here. Okay, hey. people. And, and we going out saying if we go tell somebody, you can chase me or no, you are no, not. No, not you can't chase me. Oh. You gonna chase me. Oh, you okay. don't chase me, you or you can pursue me. me. Just tell them your name, Jada, when you tell them that, then. <laughs> okay, you gonna chase me, <laughs> and my name is Jada. <laughs> but no, we do. We really appreciate you coming on. You were excellent. Uh, and in all fairness, you will be invited back to another episode. Hey, yeah. just let me know. So, if y'all ever need like a woman's take on the man. Yeah. Man, man law. Okay. I'm gonna say man biased opinion, but it's unbiased opinion. Okay, we. We, we can that tag team it. That's we can definitely book. we can definitely tag team it. You know, if y'all need something from us, we got y'all. But thank you again, everybody. I will be putting because I can't type with these nails. His two books and his podcast on my yes. page and Marty's page. Yes. Um. So look at them. Order them from Amazon. They'll come here in two days with Prime. Um. <laughs> remember, we're throwing out the word intimidating. Um, we thank him for coming on. We'll be and back next week. We're we with- throwing out narcissists too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We so tired of that. Um, so tired. If you have a topic or it's something you want us to discuss, if yes. you want to be a guest or to just hear it, feel free to email the perfect pair 21 at gmail.com or you can inbox one of us and we'll yes. talk about it. If we post something on our page that's like the question of the day feel free to answer because that's probably going to be our topic and i want to say something too while she wrapping this up 
for the people on my side of the house, because y'all done did me dirty two times, I will not be asking any of you to be a guest on the show for the next four months. Well, my people better than hers. Yeah. Oh. I will not be asking any of you. So if you want to be on the show, you got to go through her page. Mm. Okay. I'm Both not inviting Tangerine. anybody else to the show off of my page for the next four months. Uh, Four months. Okay. Y'all have lost it because guess what? That's I met some good people. I may have had like one or two bad guests. Um, that is hilarious. <laughs> but my guests come through. Yeah. I had so, two no shows. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's a privilege. You get fired. I only ask the best of the best. <laughs> so thank you stay on Demar. but everybody okay. tune in next week um we're here every sunday at two o'clock youtube tangerine and marty please subscribe as well as you can get a reminder on youtube or you can see us on facebook thank you for all your comment um that one episode we know we <laughs> you hated it Demar hated it my daddy hated it and called me and fuss and that's when i knew and Marty was like, I'm never being absent oh, again. Or we're not having a show. <laughs> can DeMar be my co-host if yes. I ever? Okay. Yes. So you might be the co-host if she ever yes. out because she got to approve of people. Yes. <laughs> he definitely can be a co-host. Yeah, it's hilarious. So thank y'all. And we'll see y'all next week. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.